All right, my beautiful friends. Very interesting day. We have a lot to talk about. And I want to show you something. Just making sure it's still there. You're going to like this. Uh, let's, um, let's start off with this. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, peeled off just about 95 points. This is Boeing. Uh, that is getting slammed. Um, okay, the other uh, major indices finished at the flat line. Nothing major going on here. But you need to pay attention to this, and I'm going to show it to you now. Um, this is seriously right off the CNBC app. You can look at this for yourself. So you know I'm not making it up. Um, what I'm referring to is the bond market. We got problems here. Uh, no one wants to talk about it. Um, it. It's getting no coverage at all on the financial channels that I can see. But you know, before I show you this, um, let, let let me let me elaborate further. So a lot of cash went into the bond market today. When cash goes into the bond market, yields get suppressed. They drop. Okay? You know this. At least most of you do. So what happened today um, is, is this. It's pretty amazing, actually. Let's see if I can get this close enough here for you. Look at the one year. Look at the one year yield, 2.52. The one year is yielding higher than the two year, the three year, the five year, or the seven year. I mean, we this this is just freaking not normal. Um, but you won't hear about that. You will not hear about what's going on in the bond market. It's epic. I, I've been literally screaming from rooftops about the bond market since what feels to me time immemorial before anybody else on YouTube ha you know they all they're all on my coattails now and that's fine but uh, I was the first here to start raising red flags here with regard to the bond market and you know it's it's in your freaking face but that does not mean okay sit down for this one <laughs> This is gonna, this might get you a little shook up here. That does not mean that stocks are gonna drop anytime soon. And how could Greg say that? Well, let's look at this setup here. You, I just showed you the bond market action. The 10 year yield, I don't know if you noticed, is 2.6. That came down as well. So we got massively suppressed rates. Uh, we have an inverted curve. The middle of the curve is inverted. Pretty plain to see. A dollar that's falling. So what is the setup here? What is the setup here? So let's think about it. Right now, in this environment, investors simply have nowhere else to go. It's a deliberately engineered thing. This is why negative rates are coming at one point. We're going to hear from the Fed next week. And there's already a lot of speculation about what the Fed is going to do. Um, I'm going to tell you what the Fed is going to do right here. They will not be raising rates. No way, no shape, no form. So forget about it. Um, more than likely, they're going to keep things status quo the way they are. I do not believe, and this is where I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Um, there's speculation that the Fed is going to actually announce a rate cut here. That's because our economy is so strong. You know that. Even though the entire middle of the yield curve is now inverted. <laughs> wow. I swear to you, you can't make this shit up. Pardon me. Uh, but but um, no, I don't think they're going to do that. The odds are they're going to keep things the same. We're not going to get a hike. Not happening. Um, Cut more than likely is not happening. The, the most likely scenario here for the Fed is just maintain what they're doing now. And this, there's all kinds of backdoor QE going on again. How does the Fed keep rates low? They can't just say it. They're not like Merlin. They don't have any magical powers here. They have to get cash, print it out of thin air, and buy bonds. So QE has never stopped. 
when you hear any any person say that oh QE is ended again you're looking directly into the face of an imbecile uh, they have no idea what they're talking about so anyway l let's let's just put this together a little more clearly stocks finished mixed Dow in the negative all because of Boeing all right Boeing stock must be protected uh, and I, I'm not sure how they're going to play it moving forward. I am more than certain they're trying to figure out how, what they're going to do. Again, it's waiting in the Dow is significant. So either other stocks are going to have to be propped up to make up the difference or something is going to have to happen with Boeing. Okay, period, the end. Number two, the entire middle of the yield curve is now inverted. That's a big deal. You will not hear about it. Period. Dollar is dropping. This is, I hate to have to say it, but it's bullish for stocks because there's nowhere else to go. That does not mean that tomorrow stocks are going to vault 400 points higher. Uh, you know, let me just say this real quick, people. This bothers me. Every day, I get a whole bunch of emails throughout the day. I try to write back to some if I can. Admittedly, very few emails I write back to. Okay. It seems that many of you out here were expecting stocks to rally today after yesterday's miraculous ripping higher, a 440, whatever the hell it was, point turnaround on the Dow. I told you I was maintaining my neutral posture. It's right on my freaking website. Right hand corner, the lion's corner, that's for you. It's not for me, because I know what I'm what I'm gonna do. You understand? So Again, please stop writing to me about, Greg, what's your take on the market? It's right there. It's right on my freaking website. Just go look at it. Please, please. Um, so I'm still neutral. I'm in cash. We're going to see how this market plays out. But again, look at the scenario. In middle of the yield curve, completely inverted. You're not going to hear about that anywhere. Um, you've got dollar falling. This is bullish for the stock market. Both of these things. That's the scenario. Force cash into the stock market. Protect stocks. Keep cash moving in, in, in. Our, the U.S. is an island among itself. Remember that. Jay Powell said so. So it must be true. <laughs> um, anyway, th that's that's what we're at today, people. Uh, let's watch this. I will reevaluate tomorrow. And for those of you that are like so curious about what I'm doing, again, please just go to my website. You know, go look at the lion's corner. Become a freaking lion yourself. Uh, it's it's going to be posted there if I change my stance tomorrow. If you see long there, what would that mean? That means that Greg has more than likely bought at least one index, probably SPY uh, or the S&P 500, the Russell 2000, IWM, and um, I, I've more than likely bought calls, if this says long there, just out of the money about three months out expiration. That's generally what I do. It's not so hard. All right. Conversely, if it says short there, well, what would that mean? It would mean that Greg bought just out of the money puts that expire three months out. I could not possibly be making this more simple for you. Uh, and I don't ask for anything except that you pay it forward. If you're making money in this market, you take a percentage of those profits and you donate to a charity you believe in, period. See how easy this is? It's the truth. Uh, I don't know what else to say. So anyway, you understand the scenario. You know how it's playing out here. Watch that bond market again while it's being ignored. The reason why it's being ignored is because you are not supposed to know. You are not supposed to pay any attention to the debt market. All you're supposed to know is we're going to keep inflating it from here until our eyeballs explode out of our freaking heads, uh, especially with this new budget. 4.37 trillion more. And where's it going to come from? It's, you're so smart. The Federal Freaking Reserve. Ah, it's going to go right up to the top of that pyramid. Uh huh. And it's being pushed there by every single world leader. No, they're not leading a damn thing, they're the puppets, all of them. Pulling, they're getting their strings pulled. And you know that's true. All right, my lovelies. See you in the morning.